Hey, morning, y'all. Brian with Holly Farms. Got a, a quick video this morning. I want to show y'all something Rick had squared up, did for us down here. Y'all seen the trailers and the truck beds on Jason's Dodges and on my GMC. Well, we had him do something for us at the roofing company. If y'all follow our Instagram or Facebook page, you might have seen some of it. I'm going to show y'all a do a little quick rundown on this bed, show y'all Rick's work here. This is a custom bed, got some custom features we thought would work for us good at the roofing company. So let me turn the camera around and show you. All right, y'all see what we did. We bought a locally local one owner 2500 HD. I believe it's a 17 model gas burner, single single wheel, well, of course it's three quarter ton. We had some ideas for this bed needed it to be pretty versatile. We needed to have sides that would come off so we could load from the side with pallets on a forward lift. Uh, most people don't have sides on a flat bed, but some of the work we do has uh, use a lot of buckets of roof coating, so we need to be able to put them in there loose without them sliding off. Of course, we've got the ladder rack across the front and the rear, rear tailgate, fold down. All the sides are on hinges. They'll fold all the way down flat against the side so you can load from the side put uh led lights in the headache rack they're on a switch in the cabs so loading at night or whatever you can see good work light kind of like what we did on my gmc but one of the best look here what he did is pretty smart keep these sides from rattling he made this bracket it's threaded in the side and around here in the tailgate you just got a nut welded on there see that there you thread this out keeps everything solid and shaking but jake's gonna show us that one of the things we really studied on was we knew we needed a rear rack for a ladder but we knew we also it might be in the way if we needed to load something heavy something wide so rick made this this rear ladder rack it matches the profile of a headache rack and it's just in state pockets see jake's moving it by himself don't weigh nothing and then he in case you're out of town or didn't have anywhere to lay it, didn't want to leave it at the shop. He put the state pockets up here at the front to drop it down in. Go to you just a little bit. There you go. Yeah. I gotta move it up. Pick it up. I can find it also. I wonder if it goes up, spin it around. Yeah, you gotta go down in it, same place, same. Yeah, it goes behind that bracket. There you go. All right, we figured out there's a little bit of problem with that rear section of the ladder rack fitting in the front stake pockets. Uh, where he notched out that plate on the side it's not notched. It's probably a quarter inch shy of being able to slide down in there. So I'm gonna have to get him to. I think all we have to do. I think all we're gonna have to do is come in here and notch this a little deeper. What happens? Is it won't drop down in that stake pocket like it's supposed to. It fit on the other side too. It's barely enough. You see where we were hitting the top right there, trying to get it in there. But otherwise, the design's perfect. He's got the front front of the side rail bolted up here if we can keep up with these bolts he put us the, the uh, wide tie down straps here we use the wide buckles on the ratchet straps the big heavy duty trucking ones let's put the boxes on the front i told him not to do the boxes on the back because they end up just loaded down with junk that you never do use got a good led backup lights submersible led tail lights and blinkers one thing I did, another thing I asked him to do is put this step all the way across. That's real handy when you're getting up and down working, working on the truck. Man, he did a heck of a job. Got the ladder rack set up where you can slide the ladder up in here and put it over, over that inside leg there. The ladder can't go front to back. All you got to do is strap it down. And for the most part, when we haul stuff, we'll just drop one side and set the pallet on there. But if you ever do need anything longer or wider, we take that back off. 
All right, we're gonna get this thing back to the shop. Rick's out of town. He gets back in town. We'll get with him to kind of dress that front up, and we can make that. I do a little trimming to get that ladder rack to fit a little better. But, man, I tell you, y'all check out Rick. He's on Facebook. I'll put a link in the bottom of the video. He's squared up, SQD, squared up welding and fabrication. If you can dream it up, draw it or whatever, he can build it. He's Everything he's ever built for us has been different. He always, always nails it. So, we appreciate you watching. Short video today. We want to show you Rick's work. Make sure you subscribe and check Rick out on Facebook. We're on Facebook too, Hollis Farms. And you'll see more of his stuff. He shows a lot of pictures of his truck bumpers, front bumpers. He's he working on some boats. He's working on duck blinds, all kind of stuff. So if you're anywhere near our area, he can fix you up. Thank y'all for watching.